are right outside of the ancient DNA lab and we're suiting up to go inside so that, um, and we're suiting up to protect the DNA that we're gonna extract from our own DNA. It used to be that we would need to go collect specimens specifically for molecular phylogenetic analyses so that their DNA is intact. Recent advances in sequencing technology allows us to sequence small pieces of DNA that are very fragmented. Museum collections are filled with specimens that have fractionated DNA that we could not use for genetic projects in the past, but now they're perfectly suited for this new sequencing technology. When those specimens were collected, the collectors and the people who've curated them all of these years had no idea what kind of sequencing technology was going to come down the line. And there are going to be a lot of other technologies in the future that we can bring to bear on these time capsules. Natural history collections are time machines.